Hey guys, welcome to the channel Market Uncharted. In today's video, we are going to talk about the SPAC risks and why it's important for you to know. Let us recap what SPACs are. Special purpose acquisition companies are non-operating publicly listed companies with aim or identifying and purchasing a private company, allowing the acquisition target to have publicly listed stock. They are also known as a blank check companies or shell companies. One of the most notable SPAC deals were Richard Branson's Virgin Galactic, a venture capitalist Shamat Paliapatiya SPAC, Social Capital and also for load Holdings bought a 49% stake in the Virgin Galactic for $800 million before listing the company in 2019. Although it has been in the market for decades, SPACs are, have recently gained popularity in the United States. In 2019, 59 were created with $13 billion invested. In 2020, 247 were created with $80 billion invested. And in the first quarter of 2021 alone, 295 were created with $96 billion invested. Despite the frenzy, not all specs will find high-performing targets and some will fail. For example, Bill Ackman wind up his spec after failing to find a suitable target company to take the public through a merger. We can see here the announcement where Bill Ackman to wind up a spec and return, return $4 billion to investors after failing to target a private company. So what are the potential risks of investing in SPACs for investors? Clueless about the intended target company, investors do not know which company the SPAC will eventually merge with. That uncertainty creates risk. Inadequate information, we have no fundamental information about the target company, such as earnings, until a merger is completed. Unreliable forward-looking statements, SPACs often make forward-looking projections on growth and earnings, something that companies in IPOs do not do. However, many of these private companies going public through a SPAC merger are unprofitable. Dilution of SPAC share value due to compensation. SPAC sponsors may receive IPO shares as a form of compensation, and the first stage investors may redeem when the SPAC finds a target. However, this may lead to share dilution for non-redeeming and later stage investors. While SPACs do offer a guaranteed return on your investment if they do not acquire or merge with a company within two years, you have incurred lost opportunity costs. I personally avoid SPACs as it's more of a speculation rather than investing. However, if you are dead set on investing in SPACs, then you may want to consider the SPAC Focus ETF, such as SPCX, an ETF offers you a diversified portfolio of SPACs instead of, of you betting on one deal only. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Never forget knowledge is not power, knowledge is potential power, execution is everything. And just like the markets, we will not rest. Please.